Former President Trump saw a slight decrease in his support among Republican primary voters after he skipped the first GOP debate last week, according to a new poll from Emerson College. The poll, which was conducted August 25 to 26, found 50% of GOP primary voters said they plan to vote for Trump, down from 56% in a pre debate poll and the lowest support to date in an Emerson poll. At the same time, multiple candidates in the field saw a slight uptick in support in the aftermath of the debate, which took place on August 23 in Milwaukee. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley saw the biggest boost, with her support jumping from 2% to 7% after the debate. The poll found Florida Governor Ron DeSantis at 12%, up 2 percentage points from before the debate. Former Vice President Mike Pence got 7% support in the poll, up from 3% before the debate. The poll found that 27% of voters felt entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy won the debate last week, but it did not immediately translate to an increase in his support, which dropped from 10% to 9% in the Emerson poll. The poll surveyed 1,000 registered voters and has a margin of error of 3 percentage points. The findings indicate that Trump may pay a price with some Republican primary voters for his decision to skip the first debate, though it's difficult to tell from a single survey and he maintains a commanding lead over the field. He instead opted to record an interview with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson, which was published to social media at the same time the debate began. Trump has indicated he plans to skip future debates as well, pointing to his large lead in GOP primary polls and questioning why he should subject himself to attacks from other candidates when he is ahead by roughly 30 percentage points in many national polls. While Trump saw a slight dip in support, the question from this poll is whether this is a blip for Trump or if the other Republican candidates will be able to rally enough support to be competitive for the caucus and primary season, Spencer Kimball, executive director of Emerson College Polling, said in a statement.